Hello there, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to another episode here in Pasty Shift Skin. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you very much for joining us. It's good to be back, America. <laughs> We're playing a little bit of Persona 3 Dancing in the Moonlight demo. The demo for Dancing in the Moonlight and Persona 5 Dancing in the Starlight, I think it is actually the fifth one, has been released onto the PlayStation Store for us to try out. Now, I'm glad they released a demo because uh, my biggest problem was with this. It's like 70, 80 Atlas. pounds for a couple of dancing games. They, I, I can understand because it's a translation thing and these games are kind of very niche market and they're kind of going like, they know the people who want to play them are going to pay them. Wow. It's kind of a very locked in situation you find yourself in with these games. I know I want to play them. Same way I wanted to play the, the, um, the musical version of Final Fantasy as well. I want to add these tunes I love. So I'm looking forward to giving this a try. Obviously we've got a nice one with the intro with the cool tunes. Well, I'll a few cast. And it's been a while since we've been with these guys. Um, Ultimax is probably the last day. Like, Ultimax well, is the last time I played through. I've grabbed out the Persona 3 Portable. Uh, I downloaded from PS Vita a few times. And I keep sticking back into it to go back and play it one more time. But it's a bit of a I actually so, I don't know, it, maybe, maybe it's just the fact that I end up, I, I, this will always have my, um, my focus interest. I've always liked this one more because it's kind of like it was my first persona myself in the PS2 that I really got into. So, Persona 3, Persona 4, this fan of Persona 5, I still haven't played, I literally, I, it, I don't know what it was from the effects of the game, just kind of like pulled me away from what I enjoyed. Uh, I kind of like the high school theatrics and the actual social structure building of it, but I don't know if I actually wanted the whole Thieves of the Night thing going on that actually kind of deals more with their uh, personas, they're actually kind of like the characters that they play throughout the story. And the whole thing about being trapped in jail or whatever, like, I, I, I don't, I didn't, the framework didn't hook Persona me. Persona 3, so Dancing in Moonlight. You know, Persona 3, like I said, was uh, my first introduction, and I still have my PSP copy of Pace, but I have uh, Persona 3 Portable, obviously on mobile, or, or not mobile, on my um, portable game. D3D has multiple gameplay modes, such as dance stages and dancing mode, and the social events unlock all the social mode. Now, there's no social mode in this demo. Uh, just give me a heads up for There is literally a tutorial on dancing, and I've already played through the tutorial. I kind of already know what way to play this, so I'm just going to jump into a dancing track. And this is where my problem lies with the demo, is that the two tracks that they have don't really remind me of the game at all. They're well, I like the fire up in the night, it can be dead, but for my dead, the remix is kind of... Understood. It's not really making me remember the old game. It's not like that. I kind of wish they would actually put one like one of the iconic themes, if you want to use the word iconic. But like, uh, essentially a tune that would have been like uh, constantly played, like a battle theme or a dungeon theme. I'd best not fumble this. You've got this, Mitsuru-senpai. C'est magnifique. C'est magnifique. So like any dancing game, it's okay. all about rhythm. More rhythm! And I don't have it. Oh god. It's one of the focus of actually like thinking of things to say while also trying to get time to No, it's a bit different the actual method with the, the full circle on the screen. Not and it makes me think that this would have been much more designed for uh, a touch screen like the Vita anyway. So it, it's perturbing to actually kind of play in parts because I've played some of the Vita kind of games which actually make use of directions. But uh, having a big screen while playing this is actually to your detriment because your eye lines are going to switch back and forth quite difficultly. With, 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 with great difficulty. Jesus. Oh god. When I lost my words, I actually then lost my rhythm. The problem is, if I don't do you well enough, I don't get to show you the fever! Not done yet. Feeling good. Feeling good.
Not bad, no? No, I don't think it's bad at all, dear. This is also my first time on three wife. If there was one to be chosen, um, she was a badass throughout the entirety of the This is your game. chance. Take it. I will. Yes, I got fever! Not done yet. I got fever. I think you're first. There's more Persona! The French fucking or me and cast members have scribed me off. They're like, this is the main dude from Persona 3. He came so much more juicy, you want to give him a voice. How was that? Stage clear. <laughs> There's room for right, well, that one done. Um, what a surprising performance. I didn't even have the chance to blink. You can literally uh, see exactly what the entire game, entire gameplay of this game is. Um, and the thing is, it's literally make or break on the soundtrack. Now with it being Persona 3 music, I thought I would be much more excited to play this, but I'm not. I'm really actually quite not excited about the soundtrack choices that they have for us in the free demo. Um, yeah, just to check in the live chat, people are watching. Would you like to see another track? The other track, Light the Fire Up in the Night, or should I move on to Persona 5? Because I could just do the two of these and then we'll actually do that as a separate video, but I'll give it to yourself in the next 10 seconds while I bump over on the next one. So, um, Persona 3 and 5. Uh, Dancing in the Moonlight, Dancing in the Starlight is actually available as a package deal on the PlayStation Network. I think, as far as I remember, if you buy the package deal, you get Persona 4 as well, the Dancing, a digital version of it. If you buy the hard copy, I think it comes as all the package deal for about 90 pounds, 80 pounds, I think it is. Uh, with all the like a in here or a disc one of them and a gift phone cover kit. You know, a one of those collector's editions and doing see things. Uh, personally, I think they've intentionally thrown Persona 3 and Persona 5 together as the package deal because Persona 3 has a lot of lineage and history to it, but Persona 5 is the newest one in the series, and then Persona 4 is kind of the one that people actually want because that's the one that everybody loves. People loved Persona 4 Golden, it was actually the one that probably, I think, sold the best out of the three games, really, in the long run. And um, also has a lot of connection to the uh, Ultimax series as well, and the actual fighting games that people got into. So, um, I personally think that as a package deal, the three of them together are fantastic, but I'm concerned about the pricing for it just because the, these niche interest games that actually cause prices to actually just sit there like that at all times, they won't actually go down. Take a quick poll of the chat, uh, no, not even a response. Do you know what? I'm ready it means that we're actually doing Persona 5 and Persona uh, 3 at the same time. We're doing it all in one because I, I, I just don't want I don't. I'll be repeating over myself for the Persona 5 one because the gameplay doesn't change in any way, shape, or form. Now, I would love to have actually demonstrated the social scene stuff, Atlas, uh, which probably extends the gameplay by a couple of hours by actually having a whole story as to why they're doing this. Hell, it did an extremely good job of Ultimax to actually kind of keep it super interesting as well. I will enjoy the tunes for this one because I I think I'm not even nice to watch this intro. Like I said, I don't have a context for uh, Persona 5's character because I haven't played through the whole game, but uh, it does it does have a, a sense of a bit more edge loneliness to it. <laughs> but that's just because of the actual character designs and the masks, which I kind of thought was the whole point of Persona was to be. You know, like unmasking yourself, or to be breaking your persona, or to actually be wearing your mask as a person, instead of actually having a mask on and still having a mask on. You know what I mean? But maybe I'm just looking too much into the depth of persona series. <laughs> For a game series that actually would encourage itself into a realm of being discussed and detailed, theorized on, it's 
the uh, wear itself on its sleeve, probably in a lot of ways. Now, uh, Persona 5, like I said, aesthetically, beautiful artwork, beautiful designs on the characters, but just the mask, the, the Midnight Thieves kind of thing, uh, stealing the bad parts of you to make you a better person, all those bits and pieces, just, just doesn't fit me. But I'm curious, like, things like this, where it's showing multiple choreographies with groups of three or four or five at a time, that'd be cool if it was a thing in this. In fact, it would be cool if it was actually multiplayer as well, but... I haven't seen anything like that too far in the gameplay. And I'd be surprised if there actually was uh, kind of a multiplayer. Persona 5, like Dancing in Starlight. Dancing in the starlight doesn't work just quite as good as dancing in the moonlight. Right, so uh, let's do that. Um, I have a preferred tra track out for these. I actually like Rivers in the Desert over Blooming Gone, but quite closely. Blue Velma is the easier, but it's, like, it's, it's easier just in the way that it's actually. It's easier. Oh god, no, uh, I'm doing that easy because I've actually tried that in medium before. Um, do you have costume controls in this where you can actually wear whatever you want from the um, lots of stuff? You can ball stage, the uniform, the clothes. Um, let's go red laser because why, why wouldn't you go red laser? And uh, we'll go with. Conspicuous do. I liked. I'm not sorry, like that. We'll go with Unmasked. So imagine we're probably an Unmasked for every character in this. So, I think the tune in this reminds me way too much of uh, Buster Groove. And that makes me want to play a Buster Groove game more than I actually am playing this. So, let's see what we've got here. Uh, I don't know, like I said, the Persona 5 soundtrack at all, because I haven't played it yet. But um, if this is the kind of music that's actually. In it, all right, do it like yeah, you I, always I like do. This like this tune, It's now or never, and I've got How's to that? make my decision. This time it could be my moment. <laughs> if this time you're right, I chose to fulfill my mission. Yes! Throwing a random insult. Yeah. How's that? Wow. Brilliant. Damn. That was okay. Awesome, right? <laughs> so passionate. It's just like you on. Uh, and ne I near got a perfect. All right. So there, there's a perfect example of the difficulty level difference between, say, Persona 3 dancing all in the moonlight and dancing in the starlight. In the starlight, because it's actually much brighter, the starlight makes it easier to play. So, brilliant! Happily done! 
Um, yeah, so that's somebody else. Star that one. Look at it! Got that star! So yeah, um, Persona 5, Persona 3. What else is there to say, really, other than it was fun? Um, I enjoyed the demo, I enjoyed the rhythm game of it. If you like games like Project Eva, you'll ship over something like this. Uh, if you happen to be a fan of the series and a fan of Project Eva, what am I talking to you about? You've already bought the game, you're know, like, you bought that on this on pre-order or you bought it from Asia as soon as it actually came out over there. And if you, it's not a surprise in any way, shape, or form. Uh, if you're still on the fence about this, hopefully this gave you a better idea about it. But I, I'm personally thinking I'm not. I'm, if, I, if I'm to come to this game, it'll be whenever it drops significantly in price for the package deal. Uh, I would buy Persona 3 and Persona 4 dance games before I buy the Persona 5 one. I'll have to play Persona 5. But if they come in the package deal with 3 and 5 and you get 4 with it for, say, 35 bucks. 35, 40 bucks. I might be intrigued enough to actually come into it, but as is now, it just doesn't hold the uh, doesn't hold the allure that I would actually expect. So, um, guys, thank you very much for watching. This has been my look at Persona 3: Dancing in the Moonlight and Persona 5: Dancing in the Starlight. It's um, it is what it is. She's cute. I actually like I like that one. Actually, uh, I want to know who she is. She's actually probably the one I'm most interested about reading about in Persona 5. So. Tell me in, in the channel comments underneath. Is it worth playing just to find out who the hell she is? She's adorable! I love the jacket. Um, outside of that, thank you very much for watching. As always, there will be boxes popping up everywhere on the screen for a number of reasons. Uh, one of them will be actually a subscribe button. Uh, the other ones will actually be for other videos I've actually done on the channel previously. Things like playlists, videos that are recommended for you, and grow increased videos on the channel. So thank you very much for watching. Again, I will see all you dudes in video. Bye.